This is the Wasino Meister V3 Lite. Be doing a test grind punch. Uh, materials S758 Rockwell. I'm going to use um, multi work can cycle, which will queue up two can cycles, equal slot grinding, and then uh, surface grinding. The punch has a nib which will be removed through the uh, slot grinding. We'll do high speed reciprocation and then the second cycle will be surface grinding, uh, removing eight thousands of stock. We'll be using a CVN wheel. Um, it's a half inch wide, 100 to 120 uh, grit, uh, vitrified bond uh, aluminum core. It's an 8 inch wheel, 8 by half inch. The Just very quickly, the slot grinding cycle will be taking off uh, 202 thousandths total amount. And then the, the pick is going to be, the course pick will be um, three and a half tenths uh, per, per reciprocation or per pass. The surface grinding taking off eight thousandths total amount. Uh, coarse pick will be uh, two and a half tenths per pass and the fine pick will be one tenth per pass. Multi work. We set the the um, cycle, the starting position in the x and y axis, and then the table stroking position for both the uh, slot grinding and the surface grinding operations. Cycle start. The table will begin stroking at the smaller stroke for spot grinding. It's taking three tenths per pass, we're stroking at 300 uh, resips a minute. If you look here, the this is the Recip rate 303. It is a programmable stroking mechanism that repeats within uh, eight tenths, uh, eight tenths repeatability on the end stroke. It's very fast, repeatable, extremely rigid. This is the monitor showing you the graphic display of the wheel and the part. Uh, we're at uh, the distance to go. He's telling us how far we have to go. We have 38,000 to go. Right about a minute at this point. It's now switching over to surface grinding. The 
the monitor showing surface riding now. You can see the distance to go is falling out uh, seven and a half thousand. It is taking two and a half tenths per pass. be on about a five minute cycle time. The single RPM is 2750. It is a 500 to 5000 variable speed spindle programmable. The machine itself is 4,600 pounds of pan out and uh, try to show the whole machine. Uh, it is a very, very massive base, very, very wide support for the cross. It is a, has a linear scale in the cross feed and they are um, um, roller, roller guide system instead of, not a ball system, it's a roller type system. Very, very rigid and very, very accurate. The chuck is a electro firm chuck, which uh, doesn't heat up, so it's more accurate. It has tremendous holding power. Uh, if you look at our dressing system, it's a three-point system that has four lines uh, going to the dressers. Very nice stainless steel uh, splash guard. Uh, here's the uh, coolant tank with paper filter and dust suction system. It's all standard. And we also have our uh, oil cooling system for thermal stability, cooling the hy hydraulic oil. It is a, it is a FANUC 20i control. Uh, so you have all the reliability of the panic controller. Panning to the monitor. Uh, we are at uh, 2 minutes and 50 seconds. And we have 2,500 to go. The monitor is also showing us our a stroking rate of 80 recips a minute. It's showing us the... Uh, the spindle RPM in addition to the run time. rigid grinder there might be some um, stock remaining but we've cleaned it up and in fact the final spark out is soundless.
the cycle time for the uh, sur the surface grinding was five minutes and twelve seconds, and the uh, flat grinding was also was one minute and fifteen seconds. So the total was six minutes and uh, about twenty eight seconds. We would also be able to set up uh, two punches and do them. Uh, um, one right after the other.